All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with a next episode of Mass Effect with Vanguard character. We're just gonna get right back, right down to it. First, we're gonna go and talk to all the crew. We got Liara on the team now, so. <clears throat> Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Yeah, I wonder why. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the bids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. I wonder why. I that you're going after Sarah. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Spoken like a true CSEC officer. Yeah. It's a speech I've heard one too many times. But right? Play by our rules. CSEC's rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. That is true. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right. Hey, we leveled up because of that. Okay, so I did tactical armor just so I can upgrade to medium armor. Next level, I believe it's next level I upgrade to it. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Is this duty related, Chief? No, sir. Well, Maybe. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. I share your concerns, Chief, but I'm under orders. Under orders to let aliens gather military intelligence? I can't believe that was the Alliance's intention. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. That is true. We get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies. I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. They totally will. The Council's had a grudge against us since the first contact war. I don't think it's a grudge. I think it's... Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. It totally is racism. It will always be more important to them than humans are. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The Founders had ideals. These days they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. 
My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Turian, I'll ask which cheek. Would you kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. Sir. What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I'm not sure I believe it either. It's better to have her where we can see her. Exactly. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, sir. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. To the core. Yes, he totally is. I could tell as soon as I met him. Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. I'll decide what's important. Now tell me how you know Saren. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. Nah. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Damn! That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Yeah. So long, Rex. Shepard. Okay. You need some weed. Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Yeah, maybe that's the point. The pilgrimage isn't just about finding resources for the fleet. Maybe it's about teaching you to appreciate your people and culture. You're probably right. We Quarians spend our whole lives traveling. But really, we never leave home. The pilgrimage has given me a whole new perspective on our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually. But we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. 
Right? I should go. See you later. Shepard. Rex. Okay. Looking for supplies? Let's see. Here. You bet, Commander. I want to kind of explain something here. Um, you see on these, um, on the equipment that you can buy, there's the common. Sometimes you'll find uncommon, rare, and I think at the highest is rare. And you want the rare ones because um, they're more powerful. Like this one. That one's rare. And that that one's rare. The limited, I, I forgot about limited. Um, I believe limited is the next step up from common. Okay. And this, it gets confusing. Like, how the hell do you do this? You hit back when you want nothing on it. There we go. Now we go up, talk to Liara, and then we'll be ready to go. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Alliance medical personnel take courses in alien biology, just in case. <laughs> I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up... I... I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Promises are easy to make, but hard to keep. I do not begrudge you your suspicions. I just hope in time you will come to trust me. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. You must enjoy something about it. I love my work. Seeking out history's lost secrets has a special appeal for me. Yeah? You were actually touched by working Prothean technology. That is why I find you so fascinating, Commander. I'm not some artifact you can take back to your lab, Doctor. I... I am sorry, Commander. I did not mean it like that. I... I just, I am used to dealing with computers and data disks. I am not very good with people. I let my professional curiosity get the better of me. Please forgive me. Let us talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, point defense system, get the free experience for that. Get the free experience for all this.
Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I, uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Saving my boots from burning lava is part of your job, Joker. We don't give medals to soldiers for doing their jobs. Damn. Bad figures. Just get me a nice card and a cake. No coconut, though. I hate that crap. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. I can't have you on this ship if you're going to infect my crew. <laughs> infect the crew? Oh man, you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Okay, I've got Vrolix syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. <laughs> I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, mm -hmm, and it stuck. Mm -hmm, and it stuck. Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Right? I have to go. All right, see ya. Hell yeah. I'd love to roll with someone like Joker. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do some missions before we get out of here, before we go back to the Citadel. But I need to take a screenshot for the thumbnail for the video. Message coming Athens. in. Athens! Patching it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't say any more in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomat's lounge on the Presidium. Okay. Now this was a mistake. You always have to have a tech person with you. Always. Never ever go without a tech person that knows decryption and um, electronics. And you'll see why in a minute. But there we go. Soldiers, they are dependent on their, um, on their, um, weapon skills. Always do your, um, class. Always max your class. And then we're going to do Liara's, um, biotics. And we're going to advance throw. Warp.
Okay, and then we're gonna do barrier. Advance it. And then singularity. Okay. Now we find the first spot and then we go. Redeploying. This is why you have to have somebody with electronics and decryption at all times. Okay. Recovering artifacts, you don't need uh, electronics or decryption. It's only for um, debris. Oh. Well, I should have cut this out and should have went straight to the um, important spot. Don't know why I didn't, but whatever. In route. Okay, now we kill these guys. Boom. We take these bastards down, boom, boom, boom. Now we come in here and we fight some enemies. Now I thought you could overload that um, fuel tank, but it turns out you can't. And you're supposed to sabotage those mines like that. Blew her in a face with a shotgun blast. Damn, many amp. Now, I do this just to cut down the cooldown of my powers more than anything. Then I'm looking to see if Ashley can use anything. I end up putting the Phoenix 3 on her since it's heavy armor. Uh, 
And there really isn't anything I could use for her uh, mod-wise, so... And again, this is why you bring a tech person with you at all times. Anything over here? I don't think so. Nope. High Explosive 3, we could use that. And that's it there. Now we're back here. Now we're going to go look for Kahoku's men. There. Now, when you find a balanced team like that, stick with it. Stick with it, stick with it, stick with it. There we go. We got medium armor now. And what do I do now? Throw? Yep. Okay. Rex. He upgraded him to heavy armor. And we got throw going. Now, if I were smart, I would be advancing decryption and electronics, but I end up doing that, and then doing damping and hacking. Like I said, I should have just cut out the ore collection because, I mean, I'm sure everyone can find them. You know, you don't see, need to see me collecting everything, you know? Oh, my first treasure maw. Now, I don't know how exactly the thresher maw works in this. I don't know if it's got something to do with shooting the tentacles. That, like, tracks you where you're at, or... I, I don't know. But he stays on you, like, flies on shit for some reason. And like I said, I don't know how exactly it works.
And like I said, I don't know if it's the sensory te tentacles or what. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how exactly that works. I don't know the mechanics of the Thresher Maw in this version. In the original, you could just, if you were far enough away and sat still, all he'd do is spit armor at, or spit acid at you. And you could just hover over it so you'd never get hit. But I think Bioware figured out that people were doing that, and they fixed that. Looks like they were lords here by the Distress Beacon. like these men were under Admiral Kahoku's command. He'd want to know what happened here. Yes, he would. Yes, he would. All right. Back onto the ship. We're going to go do one more quest. And we're going to look for Gareth's brother that was also at the Citadel Tower where Kahoku was. He wants to know what happened to his brother. Alright, you gotta scan for the Majesty. And then you find out that the uh, radioactive particles are leading to the planet next to it. Bam, bam. All right, this one's got a bunch of different pickup points. And like I said, I should have probably skipped over all this. In future characters, I will skip over them. Because this gets pretty boring, watching me just collect stuff. Excuse me. Now this spot, if you turn on the generator, you'll actually find where all the ores are. It's really cool. It's really cool they did that with this planet. Oh, another Thresher Maw. Yeah, and then I went too far for this one.
There we go. There we got him. See, that's why I'm kicking myself in the ass, because I didn't master electronics and decryption like I should have. I'd have never ran into that problem. Hey, I leveled up again. Bro, yep. Bro for you, no, barrier for you. Yeah, there we go. Oh, just like General Akbar, it's a trap! There we go. Watch this. Throw a grenade back there and then boom! Get her from behind. Rex doesn't have a problem killing his own kind. <laughs> There, they got him. You must die. Oh, oh. I think we got him. 
Commander. Now, stupid me hit the grenade button instead of the put the holster button. So I waste a grenade. I should have cut the, this out too, being in the menu. Because you don't want to see that either, you know? Perimeter secured. Okay. There we go, we got it. Okay. I believe we're going to the Citadel next. We are. Nice. We're gonna do a bunch of things here at the Citadel now. Commander, urgent message from Alliance Command coming in. I'll patch it through. Shepard, this is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. We've got a situation here, and you're the only one that can handle it. What do you need, Admiral? There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. VI support is critical to our military success. They process thousands of status reports and react in nanoseconds. No human can do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. It's not self-aware and it's completely disengaged from any networks. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Don't worry, Admiral. I'll take that thing out. I know Spectre's answered the Council, but you're still human. You're still part of the Alliance military, and right now we need you. Right. He the VI controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and automated defenses. You're the only one that can pull this off, Shepard. Good luck. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Okay, here we don't need anything electronic wise. But at least we're smart enough with Caden to. Uh, Master decryption in electronics. But now we're working on his um, biotics.
Okay. Ten hut. That is Rear Admiral Mihailovic, Fifth Fleet. Commander Shepard, SSV Normandy. You don't know who I am, do you, Commander? I command the 63rd Scout Flotilla. You and the Normandy were slated for my unit after shakedown. And the Council got their paws, claws, tentacles, whatever. They got them on our ship and you. Captain Anderson made it clear to me that my assignment came from way up in the brass. They say jump, I say how high. Remember that when I tell you to jump. Ass. Don't the politician's decision to throw you to the Council. It's an opportunity. I do begrudge this over-designed piece of tin, though. You don't approve of the Normandy's design? This experiment diverted billions from our appropriations bills for the same price we could have had a heavy cruiser. But no, we had to make nice to the Turians, throw money at a co-developed boondoggle. I'm here to make an inspection, Commander. Normandy is an Alliance warship. I intend to see she's up to snuff. I'm sure you'll find everything in order, Admiral. I'll just bet. Wait here. I won't be long. Commander, I'm not happy. What did you find out of order? Who designed that CIC? Putting the commander aft of everyone else is inefficient. What if he needs to discuss with the operators toward the bow? There are no amateurs on this crew. They know to keep idle chatter minimized during combat, and I can bellow with the best DIs. A fair point. I suppose the design has no chance of becoming standard. No need to worry about a generation of recruits learning things pass backwards. Right. I had to shake my head at that drive core of yours. 120 billion credits of element zero to make this thing able to move without giving itself away. You realize we could make drive cores for 12,000 fighters with that money? What good is it to hide for a few hours anyway? Useless. Men of limited vision said the same thing about early aircraft, submarines, and tanks. There's two ways I could take that, Commander. But that is true. I suppose the early U-boats weren't much better. And we need to talk about your crew, Commander. Krogan? Asari? Turians? What are you thinking, Commander? You can't allow alien nationals free access to Alliance equipment. I'm Normandy's commanding officer. The reg state I have the authority to say who does and doesn't come aboard. If you disagree, send a complaint up the chain of command. Sophistry, Commander. You know I'm right. You want them on board that bad? Fine. Don't quote ranks at me. You have anything else to say, Commander? Any other justifications for the state of this vessel? None, sir. Very well. I don't agree with any of this, but your reasons seem sound. I'll be submitting a report to the Joint Military Council. It will not be as negative as I planned. Good hunting, Commander Shepard. Make us proud. Yeah, asshole. Walk away, hard ass. <laughs> Coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Western Lynn News. Paparazzi. Questions for our viewers? What sort of questions? People back home have heard a lot of wild stories about you, Commander. I can give you the chance to set the record straight. What do you say? So long as you understand that I may not be able to answer all questions. I'm sure our viewers will understand. Excuse me! Humans have been trying to get the respect of the galactic community for 26 years. With that in mind, what are your feelings on being the first human specter? We all know it should have happened years ago. I hope the Council realizes that we won't sit at the kids' table forever. Some believe that without firm action on our part, the Council will continue to treat us like poor relations. Have you encountered any situations where the Citadel asked you to place its needs before the needs of Earth? I think they know not to ask me to work against my own people. I think our viewers will be glad to hear that, Commander. You've been given command of an advanced human warship for your missions. Is there anything you'd like to say about it? The Normandy is a triumph of human engineering. Like our development of fighter carriers, it shows other races that we're able to think outside the box. That's gratifying. Many defeatist officers claim that the Alliance can't compete with the naval power of, say, the Turians. 
Do you think it was appropriate to hand Earth's most advanced warship over to the Citadel? I've had enough of your snide insinuations. That is how Donald Trump should deal with a paparazzi right there. Son of a bitch! Right there, that's how Donald Trump should... Sees that your career is over. You have a specter, so I can do whatever I want. Donald Trump should definitely punch out reporters every time they do stupid shit like that, man. Totally should. All right, we're talking to Admiral Kohoku. Tell him what happened to his men. No, I'm wait Commander, any word on my missing men? I found them. What was left of them? They ran into a thresher maw. A thresher maw? That's not. My men wouldn't just stumble into a thresher nest. Not the entire unit. Somebody lured them there with an Alliance distress beacon. Placed it perfectly so they'd land right beside the thresher nest. Damn it. Oh, excuse me. My team disappeared. An Alliance beacon used as bait. My unit wiped out. And nobody seems to know anything about it. Commander, I appreciate what you did. Now I need to do my part. The families of those Marines deserve to know why they died. I hope you find what you're after, Admiral. I will, Shepard. I'll let you know when I find anything out. There we go, shit. There. There. There we go. All right. So now we'll talk to Gareth. He's just over here. Tell him what happened to his brother. Any news? Did you find my brother yet? I found your brother's body. His ship was attacked by privateers. Willem's dead? I guess I should have expected this. When his ship dropped out of contact, I just knew. But I kept hoping he might still be alive. False hope doesn't do anybody any good. Maybe. But sometimes I think false hope is better than no hope at all. Please excuse me. I need to go make arrangements for his funeral. Got a moment, Spectre? Hello, Spectre. All right. This is by the financial district. Do already. Of course you do. But this would be easy work for you, and I pay extremely well. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. Excellent. Here are the coordinates. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. Now we're course, Dan. They told me it was you, but I didn't believe it. Shepard grew up and turned into a soldier. An impatient soldier. Who are you and why are you in my way? Name's Finch. You probably don't remember me, but we ran together in the 10th Street Reds. Maybe you don't remember it yourself, running in a gang. None of the vids mention it when they're talking about you. The vids never tell the whole story. So, what can I do for the Reds? One of the Reds, Kurt Wiseman, got picked up by Turians. We'd like you to talk to the Turian guard in the bar and get Kurt out. I'll talk to the Turian and see what I can do. Thanks, Shepard. I knew you'd remember your old friends. The guard's over in Korra's den. Take care of this, and you'll never see me again. Can I help you? You've got a prisoner named Kurt Wiseman. I'd like that prisoner freed. I'd like a lot of things human. Desire forms the foundations of organized society. That said, the xenophobe will remain in Turian custody. 
This is not negotiable. I'd rather not have to kill all your guards to free this man. Right? Why do you want this criminal released? Is it part of your mission, or are you just helping another human? I'm a specter. I don't answer to you. Release Wiseman, now. The Council should have known the humans were not ready for the authority of the specters. The prisoner will be released. Turian people at least respect the rule of law. Conrad Werner. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Remember me? There are rumors on the extranet that you've been made the first human specter. That's incredible. Right. Conrad. We talked a while back. You remember me? Wow. Even while you're out there kicking ass, you don't forget the rest of us. That says a lot about you, Shepard. Hey, can I get your picture? Sure. No problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Now we're gonna help Dr. Michelle. I need those supplies for my clinic. I can't. You can and you will, or your story won't stay secret for long. Don't disappoint me, Doctor. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't see you come in. Every time I come in here, I see someone threatening you. Who was that? Someone from my past. I can take care of it. Just tell me what's going on. I was fired by my previous employer for giving out free medical supplies to clinics like this. They never filed any charges, they just wanted me to leave without any fuss. But somebody must have found out. Now they are blackmailing me. I have to give them what they want. If the board finds out about my past, I could lose my license, they'll shut my clinic down. Maybe I can get you out of this. Tell me what they want. I have to give some of my medical supplies to a merchant in the markets. They expect delivery today. Give me your contact's name. I'll deal with this guy, whoever he is. Deal with him? But won't they expose my past? They won't bother you again. I guarantee it. I see. Maybe it's better if I don't know anymore. I was told to speak with a merchant named Morlan, down in the markets. I really appreciate this, Commander. Thank you. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. Good luck, Commander. Be careful down there. Okay. So now we go deal with this problem. We talk to Moreland. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? You were expecting a delivery of medical supplies? But I was told the doctor would be bringing them. Change of plans. A change, but the doctor... I don't... This is not right, human. Shut up, Moreland. I told Baines you'd screw this up. What the hell's going on here? Who are you? Leave the doctor alone, or you'll have to deal with me. We can end this if you just bring me those supplies. Otherwise, I'll start telling people about the doctor's little secret. Her secret stays buried, or I bury you. Hey, hold on! I'm just the middleman here. This is way more than I bargained for. Thank you, human. It is good to see him humbled so. What do you know about Baines? I have never met him, human. I only worked with the one who spoke with the doctor. Goodbye. Goodbye. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Commander, how did things go? He won't be bothering you anymore. Really? That's a great relief, Commander. Thank you. I can't pay you for your help, but I can give you a discount on any supplies you purchase here. The thug said he worked for a man named Baines. Sound familiar? Baines? 
I wonder if he means Armiston Baines. We worked together a long time ago. What can you tell me about him? Last I heard, the Alliance military was contracting him for some research in the Traverse. I wonder if the Captain knows him. We'll see what the Captain can tell us. I wish I could tell you more. Is there anything else I can help you with, Commander? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. All right. Now we're going to talk to Nasana, Dantius. Or Dantius, or whatever. Commander Shepard, I am Nasana Dantius. I'm glad you're here. I must talk to you about my sister Dahlia. She's been kidnapped by slavers. I killed Dahlia myself, and I know she was blackmailing you. Hmm. And I was all set to try to manipulate you into hunting her down for me. But I guess that won't be necessary now, will it? You wanted your sister dead? If people found out my sister was a criminal, I'd be considered a security risk. They'd revoke my clearance, or place me on administrative leave until she was apprehended. I shall transfer a little something into your account as a token of my appreciation. I'm sure you'll find the amount satisfactory. I'm a specter, not some merc for hire. I can find credits anywhere. True, but I'm the only one who can authorize you to purchase prototype Asari mods. I will get you added to our manufacturer's preferred client list. I think you'd be very interested in what they have available. Goodbye, Shepard. It has been a pleasure doing business with you. I leveled up for that one. I'm gonna do warp, it looks like. So I can unlock barrier. And then I'm gonna advance first aid for Caden. And just do a fitness for Ashley. Then we're gonna talk to Anderson and Asshole, Udina. I heard what happened under the Artemis Tau Cluster. The Consul wasn't too happy about the destruction of those Prothean ruins. This isn't a game, Ambassador. Shepard's out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy. I know, I know. Just try to be a little more careful. The Consul's watching you, and we all get judged on how you behave. Yes, Commander? What do you know about Armiston Baines? Where did you hear that name? Never mind, I don't want to know. Baines is dead. Has been for quite some time. So why are people talking like he's still alive? It's not common knowledge. Military is keeping it under wraps. Baines was doing some high-level work for the Alliance. Stuff even I wasn't aware of. One day he turns up dead on a drifting scout ship. Everyone suspects it was foul play, but it was never officially investigated. Huh. This is a cover-up if I ever heard one. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. You should talk to Admiral Kohoku. One of his crews discovered Bane's body. I spoke to Kohoku. He never brought it up. You should mention Bane's the next time you see him. See if he'll tell you anything. Is there anything else, Commander? No. We should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, and then we talk to these guys. I don't care what you think, Michael. It's my decision. I know you're hurting, Rebecca, but don't let your grief hurt your baby, too. Can I help you with anything? <sighs> Perhaps you can talk some sense into her. I don't need anyone to talk sense into me, Michael. I'm not undergoing the treatments. <sighs> My sister-in-law here is pregnant, and she's refused to let the baby undergo gene therapy in utero. I thought gene therapy was common. My husband Jacob died from a rare heart condition several months ago. There's a chance that the baby could develop the same heart condition, but routine gene therapy can eliminate it. Exactly. A very small chance, Michael. And extranet reports say the therapy could harm the child. It's less dangerous than the genetic enhancements that every soldier in the Alliance receives. Right? For what it's worth, I think you should consider undergoing the therapy. I don't care what you think. Who are you anyway? It's my child. It's my decision. You've already lost your husband. Are you going to let your grief endanger the baby too? I had to watch Jacob die. I can't risk causing the death of my child as well. Your husband's death wasn't your fault. But if you refuse the therapy, your child's death could be. Don't you understand? 
I can't lose this baby. This, this is all I have left of him. And you and that baby are all I have left of Jacob. I can't lose you, either of you. Not after this. Then why didn't you just say that instead of yelling at me? I was scared. I'm sorry. If it means that much to you, if you trust that it's the right thing, I'll do the therapy. Thank you so much. Uh, I guess we needed an outside person to talk some sense into both of us. All right, we got that done. Now we're going to head out and do the quest that Admiral Hackett laid on her lap about the training ground. That is a special level 20 quest. You get that at level 20, and it upgrades your class. So, um, you always want to do the, that quest. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Ms. Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the- Fuck her! She had it coming. To deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. All right, now we don't have to explore the Soul Star System because it's our home system. So we already know what's on the other planets in our solar system, so. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard. This is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresher War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. Okay. So now we're gonna land on Luna and we'll do that quest later. We'll deal with Cerberus in a later episode. Now instead of taking Rex, I end up taking um Garrus. Because I need more tech than biotic. And you'll see why when we get to where we're going. There we go. And Tally Zora, if I were smart, I'd... Come on. He's smart. 
There you go. Perfect. Mark where we're going. There we go, we leveled up. Now we do Intimidate. And we unlock Barrier. Nice. Garrus. And Tally, come on, do your decryption. Don't be stupid. Do your decryption. Don't be stupid. Thank you. Now, you have to go in all three of these buildings. It doesn't matter what order. It just matters that you go in all three. Now, I should have done just this one and then skipped the second one and went in the th and then just showed the third one just to save time, but I show all three buildings. So, pretty much it's the same thing over and over again. It's the same thing in the other two buildings too, so... Okay. Thunder's better. We'll equip that. Okay. These can be a pain in the ass to take out. Bam! That's how you do that. And so now you go all the way to the back. Come on, Shaq. Come on, man. Go all the way to the back and you shoot all eight of those important points. Now every time we kill one of those, we'll get poisoned. Why couldn't you just shut off a little, um, console instead of shooting the, um, conduits? I never understood that.
Okay, here's building two. The Ryko is a the stiletto has ended up being better. All right. I wish I would have cut this out because you don't want to see me messing with the equipment. Come on, let's move on. All right. Now it gets fun. Keep him from shooting. Boom. There we go. Now this is what I find bullshit is once you finish with the second building, then you gotta deal with these kinetic barriers, not only in front of these fucking conduits, but in front of every door, too. It's bullshit. Get the fuck out of the way, Garrus. Alright, and here's building three. Now you have to shoot fucking barriers in front of every door. And again, this doesn't add to the gameplay. It's not fun. It's not nothing. It's just annoying. And I wish Bioware would have saw that when they fixed this game.
Now this works out to my benefit. Watch this. Boom! 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 See, I just took them all down and no problem, no, no trouble right there. Haha. <laughs> Alright, so on the other side, there's more drones to fight. Now this works out too. Two of them's grouped up. Overload. Boom, we leveled up. Boom. Okay, so now we've unlocked the specialization class. There's two of them. And we're working with Vanguard, so you get two of them to choose from with every class. But here's the two we get. Shock Trooper. They're highly trained killing machines. Shock Troopers excel in all combat situations. Increases health, increases damage protection, improves the immunity or barrier ability, and improves the adrenaline ability. We don't use... Immunity or Adrenaline, but we do use Barrier, but that's not going to be worth it, so we're going to take Nemesis. Nemesis. The Nemesis is a powerful biotic, is a biotic specialist who uses Mass Effect fields to inflict heavy damage against opponents. It increases... Duration of all dam duration and damage for all biotic abilities improves warp and improves lift. We use warp, we use lift, so that's what we're gonna do. Then we're gonna level up, and that's gonna be the end of this episode. So hope you all had fun. I sure did. You know what am I gonna get here? Looks like I'm gonna advance warp, and then um. Garrus, I don't remember what we're going to get with him. Assault training, it looks like. And Tally, we are going to get... Um, basic armor, maybe? Yep. Okay, and that's going to be the end of this episode. So, hope you all had fun. I did. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.